hey y'all and welcome to today's video so today i have another grocery haul for y'all it's gonna be um just for a week because um yeah i didn't want to get too much stuff because hurricane season so yeah i'm gonna show y'all what i got that will last us give or take about a week so yeah i'm gonna start over on here because um these apples look horrible i just put them on the floor but as you can see yucky so they're gonna have to give us a re oh it's dripping oh gross okay so i'm gonna put this way like now but they're gonna have to give us a refund uh or an exchange for that because that you, yeah these are nasty okay yeah i had to throw that away that was really gross i make sure that i get on the phone with them that's the only thing i really dislike about delivery is when i need to get fresh things like uh fruits meats veggies produce oh my gosh I, I dairy <laughs> i hate getting it delivered because it just seems like sometimes they just throw it in the basket they don't care what they pick up but yeah i'm gonna call them about that but yeah i'm gonna start on this side so i got some water i got four of the six packs of the fiji i like to get those zarka but they didn't have any in stock so i just got the fijis and then i got the little um nesty waters i actually thought these were the 16 ounce waters <laughs> So I want to get two cases of the uh, 16.9 ounces. And I think they're like 24 or 32 that come in. And it's like $2 some change. But I guess since I was trying to substitute that Ozarka water and not paying attention, I got these. But these are the little 8 ounces. And they're a 12 pack. Um, I got two of those. So I'll make sure that um, I, I need to get some more water. Because this is not going to last us. So, But this is just something to get us by like i said i thought i had two of the i think it's like 32 or 24 counts so that would have lasted us a good bit but i'm gonna have to get some more water i'm, I'm gonna go to sam's club for the water because i just don't want to i just don't want to deal with walmart <laughs> right now um i got some pineapple juice i love to drink just straight pineapple juice or i will like mix it in with like a smoothie or something fruity um to blend together to make a nice drink um i got some smoked sausage um i'm supposed to have four of these yeah i do i have four of these and this is gonna go with this week's meals um i like to buy a little more just in case sometimes i may um use it for like breakfast or something like that but i know for sure this week we're gonna have red beans and rice and i'm going to make some smothered okra so i make sure to get enough sausages i got some avocados honestly y'all i've never used avocados before um I don't know if this is how they're supposed to look. Honestly, I think they gave me some bad avocados. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look online, but you see how it looks kind of blackish? I don't know if that's normal, y'all. See, oof, I don't know. I've never had them before, so that's the only downfall, like I said, about getting produce uh, delivered. Like, sometimes it just seems like they're just picking up anything just to fulfill an order, and they're not picking through. You know, when you're spending your money, you want to get the best of the best, but... I digress. I'm going to look online and see if those are any good, though. If they aren't, then I'm just going to um, have to get them refunded or substituted. Um, not substituted. Refunded or exchanged. <laughs> um, I don't know how this is together because the kids actually put it on the table for me. They wanted to help me. They're so sweet. Um, I got some Mexican cheese because we're definitely having a Taco Tuesday this week. We missed them. We didn't have Taco Tuesday like the past two weeks, so... The kids were like, what is up with that, Mom? We want our tacos, so tacos is back. So I got two of these. Um, I got some fresh strawberries. I'm going to have to look over these, and I'm going to immediately wash these. Yeah, they don't look too bad. I'm going to immediately wash these in my vinegar and water. Um, I do like a vinegar and water uh, wash of my um, fresh fruits, like strawberries and blueberries, to make them last longer. So that's what I'm gonna do that, just to make sure that they stay fresh and good. I got some Parmesan, cause I wanna make some shrimp Alfredo later this week. Um, moving over here, I just kept them in their bags, but this is some brown meat. It's just the one pound, this is gonna go with the tacos. Um, so it's the lean ground beef, and it's the 93.7 per se. I like the less fat one and then i got some i got a roast let's say seven one so that's good it could last a while but i just it's just a regular pot roast chuck roast can you see that 
Okay. <laughs> so that, I got that. That's going to be a meal. Uh, this is some more pineapple. Pineapple juice. So I'm going to put that over here. Uh, we got some oranges, apples, oranges, bananas, every hole. Um, these are really small. Whoa, these are tiny. These are tiny. But, yeah, we got these. Yeah, I am not loving the produce in this haul. I am not. I'm not liking it at all. Um, and then we have some Quakers. I actually went back to just getting the Quaker uh, oatmeal because I actually fixed a pack of the Walmart brand oatmeal. And let's just say what they say is true. You pay more for a better quantity. The Walmart brand changed dramatically. And I guess that's why it's a dollar and some change. But the Walmart brand is not delicious and it's not appeasing to the eye. To me, the dried fruits look um they just don't look good <laughs> they don't look good so i'm just gonna pay the extra amount i mean it's a good bargain if you're on a budget because you get you could get like three of the walmart brand for this but just the texture and the taste and all i'm just gonna go back to the quaker brand and so you get 20 of these um, and you get the strawberry and cream, the peaches and cream, the blueberry and cream, and the banana and cream. So I got two of those. Um, let's see. So we have some blueberries. Like I said, make sure I wash them really good. I don't know how long they held this because, y'all, like, I ordered, I placed the order early in the morning. I think it was like 7 something. It was supposed to be delivered between 11 and 12. They didn't come till now. It's about 3 o'clock. I'm not even kidding. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I don't know how long they held it. When I called them to check up on it, this was like 1130. They were saying they were still shopping for it. So that's still hours long. I don't know if they keep it in the cooler or not. I don't know, y'all. I'm just... Uh, and I just renewed my um, grocery, whatever they call it, grocery plus thingy with Walmart. And I am having regrets. <laughs> I'm having regrets day. Oh my gosh. Okay, but anyway, so I got me some ice cream. I never tried this kind before, but it looks so good. It's the so delicious dairy free um dipped ice creams. Uh it's the salty caramel with cashew milk. And you get four bars. So I'm super excited to try these. These are my little desserts, and I got some popsicles for the kids. You will see in a little bit. I got some Mr. Mr. Some butters work so miss butter's work is yummy so we got that syrup to go with these eggo waffles and it's just a buttermilk count 24 count um waffles something funny easy to have for breakfast so i could pair it with like some egg squid sausage um if i want to go all out i got some eggs also i changed back to the brown eggs because the white box eggs that i usually get that was like six dollars a box it was $15 a box. I look today, it's like $12 a box, which is still more than I'm willing to pay. So I just decided to get three of these. Um, and it's the 18 count. It's the large um, cage-free eggs, the brown ones. I just got three of them. When the box eggs go back down to $6 or whatever I'm willing to pay for it, something similar to $6. I'm willing to pay that for the box ones, but I like the prices that they're at now. I might as well just get the brown ones that I was getting before. So, um, yeah, when they go down in price, I'll include those back into my hauls. But moving along, I got some Outshine Fruit Bars for the kiddos. They love these popsicles. And so this one has the strawberry, lime, and raspberry. You get 12 of them. Um, I'm assuming you get four of each. Not sure. And then this one, you get the strawberry, tangerine, and raspberry, 12 count also. I love the strawberries y'all the strawberry is like the best flavor I promise you it's so good and then we got just the pineapples um it's the six count just to make it a nice little variety for them I got some whipping cream for the shrimp alfredo it's just a small one because I noticed that when I get the big one I usually don't use it all the big one I think it's like double this so this is the 16 ounces and oops, the kids calling me hold on one second Okay, yeah. <laughs> so this one is the 16 ounce. Come on, focus. What is going on? But this is the 16 ounce. I can't really get it to focus. And the larger one, I don't know what size it is, but I never use it all, so I won't be getting that one anymore. I'm gonna just get the little small one. I got some cran grape 
um yeah i got two of these one is over there uh but i got some cranberry because i need some cranberry juice i love cranberry juice so got it i got some taco kits it's two of uh i got three of them excuse me this one's kind of open hmm. i mean it still looks like everything's in it still y'all <laughs> Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It's like a hit or miss with this Walmart delivery stuff. But I got the Old El Paso. It's the taco taco dinner kit. Uh, stand and stuff. Stand and stuff. Excuse me, y'all. Um, let me see. So you get ten tacos, and then you get the uh, taco sauce and the taco mix. I actually started making my own taco mix, and it's so delicious. <laughs> Than the kind that's pre-made so um i just use you know it's, it's something simple that you could google like the cumin and onion powder and all that good stuff so much better so i don't even use that i just i should have just got just the taco shells honestly but um i did want the sauce so the salsa so that's fine we got some simply apple apple juice oops <laughs> so yeah we got some apple juice because we are out of apple juice i got two of those and then I got some orange juice, simply orange juice. We go through apple and orange juice so fast, so I really need to get that like every week. We have two of the red beans, uh, the red kidney beans. We got two of those. It's the two pound bag. I thought I pressed four pound. I don't know, maybe I didn't. But it's the two pound bag, and I like to cook these uh, like once a week. And I'll will eat one half the day that I cook it in the crock pot. And then the other half, I just usually put it in like a little freezer bag and freeze it for those days when I don't feel like cooking. I just defrost it and pretty much cook it like blue runners. Like I could just defrost it, put it in a pot, add the seasoning and the meats to it. Bam! Dinner is ready for us. Uh, yeah, so I got two of those. Then I got some cheese for sandwiches and the little wrap that I make. Um, and anything else I may need cheese for. This is some Cajun turkey um, to go with sandwiches and also the wrap. Got some fettuccine pasta. Got two of them to go with the uh, shrimp alfredo. And I got some of these. This is the ground beef. It's the Gardein brand. It's vegan. These are actually really good. Well, I haven't had these in years because I was going vegan um, for a little bit. And these were so good. Like these are my, my go-to meat substitutes. And oh, the children are banging. <laughs> okay y'all they are just playing and it's getting a little rowdy up there um i have to make sure that they're okay um oh i skipped something i'm gonna get back to it but um yeah i used these when i was going vegan and they are like the perfect texture it gives the perfect taste and the perfect complement to whatever you're trying to substitute the meat for in any meals so i want to try these again so i was going to make this and the ground meat for the tacos because my kids don't like ground meat in their tacos they'll eat like um the cheese, the lettuce, the salsa, and all, but they don't like meat. So maybe they'll like this. I know it was good when I brought it, like I said, so many years ago. Hopefully they didn't change the recipe, but y'all know as years go by, things change. I forgot to include these, so these are for the kids too. These are some Philly Swirl popsicles. Looking yummy. They got the green apple and watermelon, uh, red and white cherry, blue raspberry and white cherry, and a strawberry and kiwi and you get 12 popsicles and then on and on here is the lettuce you got some shredded lettuce i got two of them one to go for tacos and then one to go for the sandwich wraps that i'm gonna make and i bought some baby spinach to go on so many things like it could go in pasta i can make put it in a salad smoothies i can eat them just as is with um some italian dressing honestly like so <laughs> got two of those um let's see we got some baby carrots just to snack on or put in a salad i like baby carrots with ranch or baby carrot excuse me baby carrots <laughs> with peanut butter um so yeah i got some of those got some chicken thighs i plan on making a uh, smutted okra with some baked chicken thighs to go on the side just to be the protein um and so we're gonna move on over here i'm gonna try not to skip anything else so we got some salsa salsa will go with the tacos and then got some yogurt i'm gonna actually make my parfaits i really enjoy and love making my own parfaits it's so easy i just get like a little mason jar i add some of this 
yogurt and then I'll add the chopped strawberries, the blueberries, put it in the refrigerator. And then when I'm ready to eat it, I just take the top off, add some honey to it, I'll get some granolas. Best dessert ever. Then I got some cream, I mean some sour cream, excuse me. This is gonna go on the tacos. And bananas, I don't know. I think it was 12, I think 12 was the maximum. So we got 12 bananas, um, okra. I bought 12 of them just so I could do the same thing like I do with the red beans. So I'm gonna cook the okra. But the only thing is uh, different than the red beans is I usually just cook the red beans. I don't season it, I don't add any meats to it or nothing. I just cook the red beans and then I freeze it and then I put it in the freezer. With the okra, I cook the okra completely. Like I'll um, cook cook it in the oven, I'll bake it until it's, you know, the slime comes out of whatever they call it. <laughs> I cook it down and then I add some olive oil and I just saute in some sausage and some shrimp and some um, diced tomatoes. Um, oh. I wonder if I have diced tomatoes. I may have to make another uh, grocery order. But um, I just add the diced tomatoes and I'll saute it in really good. And that's my smothered okra. And I usually eat it over some rice. Um, yeah, but I got two of those. And then I got some salmon. The salmon looks good. You know what? The, the food is really frozen. So I'm thinking they kept it in the freezer. It's just the things that they picked out. The person who picked it out to put in the car to bring it to my home. I think they just picked up some things that was already bad because this is pretty frozen good. It's not like it's starting to melt. So maybe it was just bad things that they just picked up. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, moving on. It's going to get fixed though. That's that's the only thing I'm I'm worried about. Like long as it gets replaced or I get a refund, I'm perfectly fine with that. So on and on. Got some bagels. Just for those easy morning breakfast. I could just toast the bagel, add some cream cheese on it. I could eat that, that's pretty fulfilling. With like some orange juice or apple juice or coffee on the side or whatever. So I got two of the raised, uh, cinnamon raisin swirls and they are a six count each. And they're sliced down too, so I like that um, also that they're already cut in half. So you can easily put it in the bagel with no mess, no worry about cutting it. And I also got two of the blueberries. And I like to get this kind, it's the kind that uh, you're supposed to keep in the refrigerator. I like this kind. Um, I also get the one that goes in the pantry sometimes where you store it. I do like to go sometimes, but I really like to get these that goes in the uh, refrigerator. Um, I got some butter. I got to find another butter. Um, I like this butter, but I have to find it because we go through six butters so much faster than we would go through a container butter. I don't know what it is about stick butter, but I go through stick butters so fast. So I'm either going to have to start getting these solely from, ooh, my phone. I'm gonna have to get these solely from Sam's Club or um, I'm gonna have to find another one. I might have to go back to the um, the other one that I used to get. Uh, I forgot the brand. I forgot the brand. But yeah, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to switch up butters. Um, let me see, and then we got the cream cheese to go with the bagels. I got the blueberry and two of those. And then I got two of the strawberries. This is the other cranberry, cran grape juice that I got. Ooh, it's heavy. Ooh, sorry, y'all. I'm trying to hold it with one hand and it's just too strong for my little muscles. Then I got some shrimps. These are the large, extra large, excuse me, uh, raw shrimps. And I got two of them. This is going to go in the um, shrimp alfredo. I just got two because they didn't have any large bags. I like to get the large bags, but these are hard to freeze. These, these look really like they melt. And it's hot too. I don't want to blame solely on um, Walmart too, because so, I know if it's in somebody's trunk in their car and they're delivering it, it's it's hot. It's hot outside. It's up to almost 100 degrees here in Louisiana. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to like you know give them the benefit of the doubt, not be too hard on them. But those apples was a no. Like those those apples was a why why. Um, so we got some asparagus to go with a meal. I forgot what meal this goes with, but I know it goes with the salmon. I think it's like salmon, asparagus, and I don't know if you got the other one. <laughs> I'll make sure that I leave the meals that I'm planning for this week in the description bar. So make sure you check that out um, after you're done watching this video or during watching this video so you can see how I'm making it all go together. Now these are just some non-food items that we needed. I need some more pots for washing dishes. Um, I need some toothbrushes. Oop, hold on y'all. All right, um, so I got some toothbrushes. Y'all, 
I was not getting any text messages or calls from the kids until I started recording. Like, do that happen to you? Like, nobody wants to be around you or message you when you have nothing to do. Like, you're just watching TV. But as soon as you get busy doing something, you're getting all the attention. <laughs> That's fine though. I'm gonna I'm gonna tend to the kids. I'm gonna tend to the phone. I just want to get this video out. Um, let's see. They're upstairs playing. They just want me to go upstairs and play with them. I'm coming, kiddos. And I got some toothbrushes for the kiddos. Um, I usually get the battery operated one, but I don't know. I just felt like this one would be better. Sometimes they complain about the battery operated one too. I don't know if they just brush their teeth really hard. So I got this, and I made sure that it's the soft pack, so it's the Oral B. Two brushes. I got some toothpaste. It's the optic white toothpaste. This is the kind that I'm starting to like. Um, I usually use this one and Sensodyne because sometimes my teeth are very sensitive, so I need need the Sensodyne of when I'm eating something really, really, really cold or something sweet. Um, and I like this too because it have it helps whiten my teeth a little bit, a little bit. Um, got some. Got a hairbrush. I don't know why a hairbrush and comb. Um, I don't know. I actually like this quality though. This is, it's kind of firm, which will be good um, for brushing hair. So yeah, I probably need to get some more of those because this wasn't expensive either. I think this was like one or two dollars and it's really firm. I was looking hard for a firm one because a lot of them are not that firm and I have thick hair and my kids have thick hair so we need a firm one. Yeah, and then um, I got some scar away just because I got a scar on my leg. I don't know, just wanted to try it out. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but. And then I got some tissue paper. I like to get my tissue paper from Sam's Club, but like I said, I just needed things for this week, so I just got the Angel Soft um, from Walmart. It is the 18 counts, supposed to equal 72 regular ones. And yeah, this is my grocery haul for this week. Um, some things I gotta get on the phone with and let them fix, but for the most part, it seems like they did a pretty, pretty good, okay job. Um, so yeah, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And let me know some of the things that you are interested in purchasing this week for your meal prepping. If you are meal prepping, <clears throat> excuse me. If you are meal prepping this week, let me know some of the meals that you incorporate. Some things that may be weekly or monthly. Because I would not mind, uh, you know, spicing up my little meal planning things that I do. Because I know sometimes I do the same thing over and over. And other people who are watching, I know they will enjoy saying, hmm, that looks like a delicious meal that I can try. So yeah, if y'all don't mind, add y'all favorite meals in the comment section. And uh, if you would like also, like maybe how to prep it or... Um, yeah uh cook it <laughs> but yeah y'all thank y'all so much for watching this quick little video i appreciate y'all so much and thank you so much for spending some of your valuable time with me and you will see me in my next video bye y'all